Yeah, Cody, I got a big one. I understand that, but like we have everything taken care of. Like, kick, yeah. yep. kick that kicking. The guy's like, I'm not gonna trust that. Y'all clicked on this video because you guys are ready to see one of the best Karen clips from fishing on YouTube. We've been waiting for this moment for a while and it finally happened to us the other day. At the end of the video, we're going to talk about, you know, what we did wrong, what we could have done better and kind of recap the whole situation. Well, we're going to go ahead and hop into this. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you guys enjoy the Karen videos. Maybe we'll run into another one here soon. But before we hop into that, we got the old Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose Combos. These are only available on kickingtheirbass.com if you guys want to check them out, but I'm actually going to be giving away this brand new bait caster right here. If you guys want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and leave us some feedback down below on what content we should post. But let's go ahead and hop into this Karen clip. You guys are going to enjoy it. I think we should know pretty quick if there's fish in here and if they're gonna buy it. Yep. <laughs> Dude, what is up with me today, man? Saying all this weird stuff. He's not big, but he's something. We should know pretty quick if they're gonna buy it or not. <laughs> we just gotta keep saying stuff like that. I don't know what it is. We haven't had a bite, Cody. Thump. My bad one. Second biggest today. These fish are supposed to be 14 and a half pounds in Florida, Cody. You know? It's all good, though. Hey, right off the rip. That was what, second cast? Maybe yeah. third? That's a good sign. Like, this pond looks good, man. I think we're going to have a lot of fun in here. So, let's keep it going. I think it makes it interesting and fun. Oh! Yo! Yeah. That was cool. That's crazy. <laughs> That was pretty crazy. Look at that, man. We're making it happen, guys. It's, it's, they're not big, you know. We're just hitting spots that we've never been to. We don't know anything about these spots. So we're like just living and learning. Um, just trying to find this big one. So you gotta start somewhere. Hey. There he goes. This is a great crankbait pond, man. You don't find crankbait ponds often. Like the whole pond's surrounded by this rock. That's the thing. The whole pond? I heard you. Did you hear my question? Is the whole the whole pond private property? Oh, okay. We were trying to get down there. That's where we're headed. Okay. I got some I'm gonna grab down there. We'll walk that way. Hey, Cody. You have a good day, man. I understand that, but like we have everything taken care of. Like, then beat it. Why? Why? But what's the point of having that attitude? Like, there's no need for that. There, there's no need for to raise the voice. 
I didn't see that sign until I walked down. I got my bait hung up. I walked up right here. I understand that and I apologize. All right, my, my point is don't come off with that attitude. <laughs> bro, his wife lost it on me. Bro. <laughs> I told her husband, I said, have a good day. Like, dude, I was like, all right, so we've never been here, Cody, right? We pull up and we're just fishing the corner and there was no signs. I get my bait hung up and that's when I realized there was a sign right there, right? So I'm like, crap. Anyways, I heard the dogs bark and I'm like, all right, this is not good. Go over there, un unhung up my bait and I went to go grab my rods to come back, right? And so I walked by and he said we could fish down here. Did he not? Yeah. So I grab my rods and I, and I look at him I'm like, hey man, you have a good day. Honey. Like, just simple as that. And dude, like I start walking, his wife comes out the door, start yelling at me, bro. Like just, just losing it. And I clicked my GoPro and then it turned it off. So I guess I had it on. And I was like, don't, I, I just told her, like, don't come off of that attitude. I was like, we got it taken care of. And then he started yelling at me. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I, <laughs> whatever, man. We're just fishing. What are we doing more than fishing, Cody, right? Just having a good time. He knew too. He was trying to help me out, honestly. He said, just keep walking. Just keep walking. Uh, He's probably like, this shit happens every night. <laughs> Do you even wanna, you just wanna get out of here? What's up to you? Or you want to try it for a second longer? Mm -hmm. I'll throw a couple more casts. I get his point too, like there is a sign there, but it's yeah. like, we didn't even walk up on that yet. Like, I don't know. Yeah, you can. Cody. Do you live here? Is it fine if we fish here? Normally, is it okay if people... It, it's private property, but... Right. Can we be your guest today? Just for an hour? Just hang out until somebody says, I'm calling the cops. Right. And then leave. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Well, thank you. We're kicking their bass on TV on YouTube if you want to see it at any time. What's the name of it? Kicking their bass TV. Kicking their bass? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> He came up with it a long time ago. He's got one. Yeah, Cody, I got a big one. Yeah, that's a good one, brother. He was running at me. I couldn't tell if he was big or not, but it's a good three pounder. Oh, yeah. There we go, guys. Pretty fish. Beautiful. He's actually really healthy. Um, he's got a fat head on him. He doesn't have the biggest body, um, but man, that's a pretty fish. I want to say he's quite three, but he's definitely a high two number. It's a good fish, Cody. Good job. That's what we needed, dude. He, uh, you see that tree? Mm -hmm. So I cast it on the edge of it. I really didn't get a good, like, skip up under there. He started running with it. And then I hooks at him, and I, and I was like, man, it's a big one. But then all of a sudden, like, it just went slack. So I was like, maybe I got a small one. And then, uh, now I felt him really tugging. I was like, yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. But there we go, man. Good job. Here we go. Got to keep the positive energy flowing, brother. We had some encounters, but we're still having a good day, right? Oh, yeah. Give him a little toss. Thank you, buddy. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. Not a giant, but like, that's a good fish. Good upgrade. Oh, was it not that bass? Kicking yeah. their bass. Oh, kicking their bass. Oh, yeah. Not, not that bass. Yeah. It's an electric guitar player. Yeah. Oh. And then my phone died because oh, it's ancient. Uh, if anybody threatened you, there's uh, Cruise Lake, mm -hmm. which is public. Is it? Yeah, oh. Cruise Lake and Moon Lake. Sweet. Moon Lake's beautiful. I mean, it's not the best neighborhood, but when you get to the lake right off the main road, it's really it's beautiful. Awesome, awesome yeah, place. people are boating, and it's also and it's public. You're allowed to be there and everything. Yeah. yeah. How'd you find this place? We um just Google Maps. We were stopping by the gas station and we saw it, and we were like, you know, catch that bass. Kicking Kick, their kicking. bass. What the hell? No freaking. <laughs> I wish I had a piece of paper. Kick. I'd write it down for you. Kicking. Kick. Yeah. Yep. Kick that kicking. Kicking. K i c k i n. Their bass. That'll help me. <laughs> All right, good luck. All right, Thank you so much. Day. Have a great day. Yeah. Okay. Right. Kicking their bass. Yeah. You guys have any problems We did with one person, but. It's so ridiculous. You got the cops going on us. We were over at the uh, apartments. Uh -huh. Did you? Yeah. I the hate guy, that. The guy's like, I'm not going to trespass, but you got to get out of here. And yeah. Like, it's one of those things, man, like we're from Georgia. We're just traveling okay. down and, yeah. and we do a lot of filming and stuff and we're easy going with it. I, what I tell him, it's like, 
we don't have anywhere around here so we're just trying to find places yeah. and i told him you know if somebody asks you to leave i just yeah. gotta get out of their way i don't want to start nothing but yeah, yeah he's just a pain in the butt. Well, you know the guy really nice and she said yeah, the yeah, guy. Just, just fish until you know somebody might say something but if they're gonna yeah. call the cops then just leave yeah. and you know the guy was fine and i told him i was like all right you have a good day and i was like walking out of his way and his wife stuck her head out the door and started screaming at me yeah. i'm like yeah that's when I, i'm usually the type of person to walk away but i had to say something i was like listen we have it handled and she wouldn't have it i was like there's no need to come off of that attitude that's all i was saying i was just like she had to put yeah you know how people are <laughs> you know how that. people are yeah well I, I hope you guys find some good spots because we we always try to go out too and everybody gets upset about it because yeah. it's in a neighborhood yeah yeah so. i get that and that's the thing it's just fishing man yeah. you know people Catch i buddies. would much rather have you know people in the outdoors and fishing or kids in the outdoors that's, fishing yeah rather than going out and doing drugs or something exactly. you know what i mean yeah that's yeah. you know when we were fishing over there it was me him my neighbor and his son yeah like and you guys live you guys yeah, live in here exactly like it's more understandable for me and i totally understand like i got a camera and stuff like i get yeah. it i get it like i'll get out of your way but you for y'all like you guys live here man you have every exactly. right to go fish that yeah. farm yeah well, we were so upset <laughs> it was like we were gonna call the community and everything but yeah yeah um you know where starkey ranch is no i do not if I'm you not take familiar. 54 this is a main road mm -hmm. right here and you go about 12 minutes down on the left hand side it's called starkey ranch starkey ranch tons of lakes or really? ponds in there I think they're pretty cool about fishing over there. Are they? We haven't tried yet, but we know some people over there. They've that, caught some big ones too. Yeah, some good yeah, fish. There's Starkey good Lake. Fish in there. Starkey Ranch. Starkey Ranch. Yeah, it's awesome. kind of a newer development, but cool. it'd worth, be worth a shot. Well, dude, so, I appreciate right. you, man. Yeah. Hey, you guys have a good yeah, day. Good you have a good day, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you too. Well, let's talk about old Karen, guys. This was a funny clip. This was a really funny clip to me. I'm never gonna forget this. You know, we came into Tampa for a few days. I've never really been to Tampa. I haven't bass fished around here a ton. And then we ended up running in to Miss Karen. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the situation, talk about what we could have done better on, how we could have improved the situation on all sides of it, and uh, overall not escalate it to, to where it went to. So yeah, we ended up pond hopping here in Tampa. We didn't really have many ponds to go to, and I was just on Google Maps finding places. We had fished about four ponds prior to this one. We caught fish in every single one, but the fish weren't big and we had about an hour of daylight left and we were like, we're just gonna grind it out. So we ended up pulling up to this pond. You know, it looks really good. There's a bunch of rocks, looks really juicy. I had a feeling that we we're gonna catch some really big fish. I start casting my bait around. I end up getting hung up. So I'm like, shoot, I go over there and I unhung, unhang my bait. As I'm walking over there, I realize what was there, Cody? There was a sign. There was a no fishing sign, right? Or it wasn't no fishing, but it was for residents only. So I was like, shoot. And as I'm walking over there, these dogs were just what yapping, man. These dogs were vicious, let me tell you, man. They were, they were going crazy on us. So right when I heard those dogs barking, I knew that it was about to go down. Something was going to happen, Cody. Wait, why am I like talking about it like this? People already watched it, right? You're recapping. I'm recapping. Am I recapping? Everybody? Yeah. <laughs> recapping dude <clears throat> so the whole situation with all of us raising our voices i really think was because of the dogs and to be quite honest with you i think if the dogs were not in the picture like if the dogs just like were sleeping or taking a little nap or cuddling in their little doggy bed or whatever the heck they do i really don't think this situation would have happened but with them the dogs yapping you know everything was tense the adrenaline was pumping we were all screaming and uh so yeah the guy was like yeah you can't fish here but you know you can fish over there so we're like you know what that's good end up grabbing my rods i come back through and i'm like you know what let's just forget about this right i told the guy i was like hey man you have a good day and uh, he was like you too everything was fine about three seconds later his wife sticks her head out the window and what did she say cody she said you're walking on our lawn beat it and like in the it was honestly something out of a movie, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Like, who says beat it, first yeah. of all? And plus, it was like an older lady, bro. Like, I, I just thought that was kind of immature. You know what I mean? I was telling Cody, it's like, after you get in a fight with somebody and, like, both parties are walking away and you're, like, talking trash to each other. But that wasn't the situation. Like, I told the guy, have a nice day. He said, you too. We were all cool. And then she had to just stick her nose all up in it. So when she did that, normally, guys, I would walk away from the situation. In my opinion, I probably should have just kept walking. I thought it was funny. I didn't take no offense to it. But then again, in the back of my head, I said, I, I wanna hear what Karen has to say. 
she definitely has a lot more that she needs to say to me. So I gotta talk to her for a little bit. So yeah, I told her, I was like, listen, you know, we got this taken care of. There's no need to, you know, have an attitude like that because there really isn't, man. Like at the end of the day, we had her stuff taken care of. There was no need for her to add anything else. And I really do believe her husband knew too because he told her, he's like, hey, stay inside. And he was telling me to go. He knew that she was just going to say something that was going to stir up the situation. So that's what ended up happening. You know, I, I told him one last time, my point is, don't come off of that attitude. There's no need for that. You're a human. I'm a human. We can talk about it. We can figure out the situation. I can go on with my day. You can go on with yours. No point in stirring up something like that. And uh, her husband didn't like it, which I totally understand. I mean, he's going to protect his wife. Like, I get it. And, but he thought I was talking to him when I was talking about attitude. And so then he started cussing at me and like, whatever, man, it, that's pretty much what all went down. And, and to be honest, guys, we probably shouldn't have been in that pond in the first place. That, the moral of the story is we shouldn't have been at that pond fishing in that guy's backyard. We made that mistake. I take full accountability on that. And like I told y'all, I'm not throwing excuses, but we were just trying to hit some ponds before it got dark. It was nothing more than that. Me and Cody wanted to film a banger for y'all. That, that's all it was, Cody. Yeah. We wanted to catch some fish. We wanted to film a banger. And like, if somebody said something to us, we would politely walk away. But uh, yeah, the Karen stuff just stirred it up. We had to make an entertaining video out of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, Please hit that like button. If you guys want to see some more Karen content, you want to see it. I'm totally kidding. You want to see us just piss everybody off. No, we're not going to do that. But who knows? We might run into another Karen here soon. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all of y'all. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.